In this video, we're talking about how to identify multiplication and how to distinguish multiplication from addition and subtraction. So the first thing we need to know is that there are three ways that we can indicate multiplication. The good old time sign, this X symbol here times, meaning three times two or three multiplied by two, which we know is six. We have this dot, six times one is gonna be equal to six. This also indicates multiplication. Or two numbers sitting next to each other, one in parentheses or two in parentheses, it doesn't matter. Both of these indicate multiplication. So four times five is 20, or three times four is 12. These are all symbols of multiplication. The thing to remember is that if you don't have an addition or subtraction sign in between the numbers, then the operation is multiplication. So if we take a look at a couple more complex examples here, what we can see is that we have some addition and subtraction signs and we have some numbers that are multiplied together. So what you can almost do is put parentheses around the things that are multiplied together, which is just like separating the expression in between the addition and subtraction signs. So here we have three minus, we have a subtraction sign, and then two times five. So we know this is gonna be multiplication here. Then we have a subtraction sign, and then we have six times a negative two. This is gonna be a multiplication. And then we have plus two times five. The two times five, that's just like this four times five here, that's multiplication, so this is gonna be multiplication. And what you can see now is that we've separated the expression, we've indicated the multiplication with these brackets, and everything in between now is an addition or subtraction sign. So we have a subtraction sign, a subtraction sign, and an addition sign here. So we wanna do our multiplication first according to order of operations. We'll leave our addition and subtraction signs and then we'll do those operations next. So we're gonna have three minus, two times five is 10. We keep our subtraction sign. Six times a negative two is a negative 12. And we wanna put parentheses around it so that we keep this negative sign here separate from the subtraction sign that we left in between. Then we have plus two times five is 10. Now we can simplify further because we have a minus a negative 12. That's the same thing as saying plus 12. So this becomes three minus 10 plus 12. In other words, the two negative signs cancel with each other and become a positive. So plus 12 plus 10. Now at this point, we can add all of our positive numbers together and then add all of our negative numbers together and get our final result. So here we have a positive three plus a positive 12 is 15 plus a positive 10 is 25, so this is gonna become 25. And then our single negative number is this negative 10, so we have minus 10, and that's gonna be equal to, of course, just positive 15. Let's look at our second example here. We're going to, again, put brackets around our multiplication. So we have two times four indicated with the good old time sign here, so two times four. We have minus and then three times two indicated with the dot, so three times two, minus a seven, plus five times two, so again, multiplication here. Now we've got brackets around our multiplication and we have every sign in between, just an addition or subtraction sign. So we have, of course, subtraction, subtraction, and addition. Now, if we do our multiplication first, leaving our addition and subtraction in between, two times four gives us eight, we keep our subtraction sign, three times two gives us six, keep our subtraction, seven, keep our addition, and then five times two is 10. Now we can do the same thing we did before, where we add up all of our positive numbers and then add up all of our negative numbers, or we can just do the addition and subtraction together, moving left to right. So eight minus six is two, two minus seven is a negative five, negative five plus 10 is a positive five, so our final answer is positive five.